to Tunes Reviews, and today we're going to be discussing a new fragrance called Prada Luna Rosa Extreme. Daniela Andrier is the pep fume behind the fragrance of Prada Luna Rosa Extreme. She has done every other fragrance for Prada in the men's line, uh, as well as my second favorite Prada offering, Prada Amber Pore Omen Tense. So Prada Luna Rosa Extreme was released in 2013. Uh, this fragrance is being compared to a lot of other fragrances on the market today that a lot of us fragrance snobs really do enjoy. Um, basically, this gets pretty high praise at this point. I think a lot of people were pretty impressed with Prada Luna Rosa Extreme, as well as the original, the predecessor, uh, Prada Luna Rosa. But uh, Prada Luna Rosa Extreme is getting a lot of comparisons to other fragrances, and I'm going to cover those in a few minutes. The packaging with this fragrance, uh, you get the 100 mil. this is what it's going to look like. Uh, the box looks the same for both sizes, and then of course the bottle. And the one thing that I really don't like about the bottle is this isn't really like a cap, it's just kind of this piece of plastic that makes it so you can't spray, um, but you could still spray if you wanted to, as you can see there. Um, but the bottle's okay. It certainly isn't, you know, the other Prada bottles. I kind of wish that my favorite juice by Prada was in the uh, Prada Amber Pore Home Intense bottle, or they just came up with something that's a little more timeless, a little more classic, uh, like they did with Prada Amber Pore Home, and even Infusion Dome. That's a really nice bottle, too. Um, this one's just kind of generic, and I don't like the plastic, so unfortunately, the bottle doesn't do anything for me. So the 100 mil bottle, which is this guy right here, uh, will run you about $85 American to $90 American um, if you're getting it in somewhere like Macy's or something like that. But I do believe that places like FragranceNet should have this up. Uh, you could get this at a discount, probably about $70. Bucks. Uh, it still is fairly new, and it is a bestseller at this point, so it's going to be difficult to find it at a cheaper price point. Uh, with this one, the sprayer works pretty nicely, so can't complain with the sprayer. Nice one, nice distribution, and right off the bat, this fragrance has a nice peppery, uh, almost licorice-y type vibe. I don't like licorice. I don't like the taste of licorice. I don't like the smell of licorice. Um, I can't say that, actually. There's a few licorice fragrances that I do like. Saks Fifth have for him. Uh, Lolita Lampica Masculine, that's okay, um, but for the most part, I really don't like that smell, and I absolutely cannot stand the taste. The spicy licorice vibe goes away after about half hour or so, and then you're kind of left with this nice peppery, uh, bergamot, sort of vanilla, amber, spiced cake sort of smell. Um, at first, you do get the same DNA with the licorice sort of vibe as you get with Prada Amber, the original. Um, it does have that bergamot sort of uh, soapy opening. It does open very, very soapy. But it has a, it's a spicy soapy. Um, but you can definitely pick up on the freshness and the soapy qualities in the beginning. But I would definitely classify this as an oriental spicy fragrance and even maybe um, along the lines of an oriental sort of Fougere, it kind of reminds me of Fougere, but um, it does kind of, I do pick up little elements of like Invasion Barbera with this fragrance as well, but mostly uh, the uh, comparisons that you're going to get, or at least read, that people get are fragrances like Le Mans, which personally I don't get that at all. I enjoy Le Mans, I enjoy Prada Amber, uh, or Prada Amber, I misspoke, Prada Luna Rosa Extreme. I like that actually better than I like Le Mans. They're both, you know, good in their own right, but it's not even really comparable. Um, Prada Luna Rose Extreme is definitely a much more spicy, deep fragrance, whereas this is very linear um, lavender, vanilla, and cinnamon. You know, um, this is very much a spiced cake, a spice cake, yes, uh, vanilla amber with lavender. Um, it does very much remind me of my personal favorite fragrance of all time, Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille. So if you are a fan of Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille, 
and you're look, looking for a, a much cheaper alternative, I highly recommend this fragrance. Also, if you've tried L'Occitane's Eau de Beau, it smells like that too. Eau de Beau has a little more incense going on, and it's definitely not quite as deep as this or as Tobacco Vanille. Um, this does have balls. I do appreciate the fact that this Prada Luna Rosa Extreme does have a little kick, uh, kick to it. The longevity projection is great. I'm getting 10 hours, probably 8 to 10 hours, and it projects great for the first 4 hours or so. Not even kidding you. Um, I do about 3 or 4 sprays around the neck and chest area. I do do a spray on my uh, clothes as well. So it gives the extra longevity and kind of projection if you do a little bit on your, uh, maybe on the collar of your sweater or anything like that, like on your um, button-up shirt or something like that. So overall, the performance is absolutely great with this fragrance. Uh, it does smell unique. It's going up against a lot of the other fragrances in the designer game that are kind of being shoved out, you know, like it's almost like an assembly line of crap, <laughs> to be perfectly blunt. We're getting, you know, Dior Homme O, which was just an utter disappointment, Paco Rabanne Invictus. I was actually excited to check out Invictus after I had tried Paco Rabanne's One Million Intense, which I fell absolutely in love with. I was hoping I'd find another one uh, by Paco Rabanne that I enjoyed. Sadly, that one disappointed me as well. So we have these fragrances that are getting pushed out left and right that are really kind of disappointing me. Um, I think the only other one that's, you know, impressed me this year for a designer is Terra de, uh, de Hermes Fresh Air. So uh, this one's definitely got, you know, getting high marks for that. So if you were to ask me who I would kind of pinpoint uh, that would enjoy this fragrance, I'd say anybody who's over 20, anybody who's trying to impress someone, um, I do find it to be kind of a formal fragrance, but it can be pulled off either way. As I said before, and I've always said, I wear what I want when I want, it doesn't really matter. But it does smell like it would be something that's going to be worn with a suit um, at a semi-formal or formal occasion. And basically, this fragrance just kind of exudes class, in my opinion. Uh, I personally find that this fragrance is of niche quality. So if you're looking for a good bang for your buck, bang for your buck. It's not really a bang for your buck. It is on the higher end of uh, the price point for designers. But if you are looking for a fragrance that smells similar to some of the ones I had mentioned prior that are a little more costly, such as Tobacco Vanille, then definitely check this one out. I do not think that you will be disappointed if you like that sort of combination, the balsamic sort of uh, vanilla, sort of bombastic, out there spice, you know, infusion of spice going on with the fragrance. It's very, very nice, very pleasant, very interesting for a designer. Um, I can't really say that about too many fragrances that have been released in the past year, or even two years, as far as designer goes. So, it's you know, it's it's refreshing to see this fragrance uh, come out on the market because I really do enjoy it. Overall, uh, for the price point and the occasions that you could wear this, um, I, I find it to be uh, for me, it's pretty versatile. Um, you can wear it in the hot and cold, uh, you know, months out of the year. And you don't have to do too many sprays, and it does project well. You know, the performance is great. Overall, I would have to give this fragrance a solid 9 out of 10. Uh, for me, it is very high quality and another great fragrance from the uh, House of Prada. So I hope you do enjoy the review, and you check this fragrance out when you get a chance. I will talk to you all later.